Welcome to you Around the Peninsula. I'm Army Sergeant Matt Cromer. The Boy Scouts motto is be prepared, a phrase that also rings true for the U.S. military. Army Sergeant Ricky Perez takes us to where preparedness begins. Being equipped with the proper gear is critical for all military and civilian personnel, especially those stationed this side of the demilitarized zone. Soldiers from Yongsan come to the Central Issue facility to get what they need to be ready at a moment's notice. Uh, it's very important because uh, here in Korea, our motto is to fight tonight. So it's very vital that soldiers have all their accountable, inspectable items so that when it is time to fight tonight, everybody has everything and uh, PCIs, and they're all complete and everybody has everything that they need to go to be ready to fight tonight. For Specialist McCord, CIF is not a by-the-numbers task that has to be done. It shouldn't be a quick process. It's, it's, CIF is not a check to block. It should be something that you take time, make sure everything's there, everything you sign for is there. CIF is soldiers teaching soldiers. The lessons learned about patience and due diligence are passed from NCO to subordinate. As a leader, you're always, you know, building your replacement. So you should teach them the way you were taught, if not better. So. Um, that's why I take my time, you know, so that when she has her turn to take someone, she can take her time and they'll be taken care of. Army Sergeant Ricky Perez, Yongsan, Korea. The Yongsan Central Issue Facility services Army, Navy, Marine, Air Force, and DOD civilians. There is a new tax facility in Maud Hall, Camp Casey, opening in January. Staff Sergeant Crystal Crawford tells us about the facility and its service. Every year, American citizens face the dreaded tax season. For soldiers assigned abroad, it is difficult to do it themselves. Camp Casey is opening a free tax filing service. Tax certified professionals will be able to help you find deductions and credits that other services will not be able to provide. The Tax Assistance Center in Camp Casey is opening on January 26th. It's going to be a low stress environment. We'll help you file your taxes. And most soldiers actually get a refund, so that will be extra money in your pocket. I do. Rest assured that the soldiers helping soldiers are IRS tax certified professionals. It makes me feel good inside, uh, knowing that they'll walk away from here with a big refund and be able to help spend it on their family or whatever, save it and put it towards something. Okay, great. Can I see that? The crew is busily working today as opening day approaches. Army Staff Sergeant Crystal Crawford, Camp Casey, Korea. Camp Red Cloud is also opening a tax assistance center located in the housing office. Frigid temperatures during the winter season in Seoul make it difficult to participate in outdoor activities. However, there are some things that can only be done during this time of the year. Senior Airman Taylor West takes us to one of those places. At the Seoul Square Ice Rink, they have skates in all sizes, protective helmets, and even a small skating rink for children. Before getting on the ice, the staff provides you with a stretching session to prevent injuries. And there's a DJ who plays a wide selection of music to keep you motivated while skating. Nowadays, Koreans are even more interested in winter sports. With the Pyeongchang Olympics coming up soon, Seoul has opened ice rinks like this across the city for people to come and enjoy. Traditionally, ice skating was ice sledding, known as Seoul May. So now people get to get in touch with their inner Olympian and come out here and skate. This is a great experience to enjoy with friends and family. Senior Airman Taylor West, Seoul, Korea. The skate rink is operated hourly with 30 minute breaks in between. It takes a special person to make a remote location feel like home. But for one individual, it's their passion. Good morning, sir. Hi. My name is Annette Montgomery, and I'm the general manager of the exchange here at Kunsan. I can get watery-eyed talking about how I love the military and how the military makes my day. When I come to work, yes, I, my employees, my associates are great people. But at 10 o'clock when we open those doors, or if I'm over at the Express at 7.30 in the morning when people come in, when our customers walk in the door, it's like, good morning, I love you. You know, it's, it's, that's how much they mean to me. We don't have, I don't feel we have bad customers. I love talking to them. I love to be able to help them. If they need something, I want to be there for them. Holidays are the, are the worst time when you're away from family. But my heart goes out to all the military 
and I want to support them so much. They are my family. You know, I love the military. Every branch. Annette Montgomery has served military members for 13 years all over the world, to include Afghanistan and Iraq. Every community has its obstacles. Finding out what concerns the community can also be difficult. Army Sergeant A.J. Bate shows us one way USAG Humphreys approaches this challenge. U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys is in transformation. Over the next few years, it's scheduled to more than triple in size and population. In an effort to ease the minds of service members and civilians going through that transformation, Colonel Joseph Holland took an hour to answer questions. We're here talking with the community at uh, the Camp Humphreys Food Court about those issues that are relevant to the community, but it gives the opportunity for the community to interact with us. And it's this kind of interaction which sometimes leads to actual action. Okay, what do you think about living there? Uh, aside from just providing answers, we actually get things done to help the community and getting their feedback allows us to take new ideas and get them involved in the community. In addition to these monthly information sessions, Colonel Holland and Command Sergeant Major McCoy hold quarterly town hall meetings to help serve the people who make the USAG Humphreys mission possible. I'm proud to be here as a member of the Camp Humphreys community, living and working uh, among a great population of uh, soldiers, civilians, and uh, Korean nationals here at Camp Humphreys. Sergeant A.J. Bate, U.S. Army Garrison Humphreys, Korea. Besides town hall meetings, USAG Humphreys command team meets outside the food court of the main exchange to meet and interact with members of the community in an informal setting. This allows the command team to gather information about what community members want to improve. Bases in South Korea are overflowing with history, but each one has its own unique story. Senior Airman Elizabeth Toronto gives us a brief overlook of one base's past before it was home to the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing. Before the Wolf Pack, the history of Kunsan Air Base goes back before World War II, when the Japanese still occupied Korea and used the Kunsan area as an operating base. But in 1944, the Japanese withdrew their occupation and U.S. forces took over the base, where they stayed until 1949. In 1950, North Korean forces invaded the South, and because of its lack of defenses, Kunsan Air Base was one of their first objectives. However, within a few months, the U.S. had recaptured the base for good. Kunsan's first residents were the 27th Fighter Escort Wing, which became one of the most decorated units in the Korean War. But in August of 1951, the third bombardment wing came to Kunsan, flying the Douglas A-26 Invader. Since then, Kunsan has been home to many units, but in 1974, the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, or the Wolf Pack, arrived and absorbed the 3rd Bombardment Wing and has remained at Kunsan ever since. The 8th Tactical Fighter Wing has been the host unit at Kunsan Air Base for over 40 years and continues to strive for excellence every day. That was your Around the Peninsula for this week. To see these stories and others, go to the AFN Pacific website or view them through the AFN Pacific app. From all of us at AFN, enjoy your evening. Chinyanan, Juan Migun, Changbyung, 여러분. 한국 고유의 명절 설날을 맞아 여러분과 가족 모두의 건강과 행복을 기원합니다. 한국에서 설날이 되면 온 가족이 함께 떡국을 먹으며 새 소망과 행운을 비는 아름다운 풍속이 있습니다. 그러나 여러분들은 오늘도 사랑하는 가족과 수천 마일이나 떨어져 한반도의 평화를 지키기 위해 파이트 투나잇 대세를 갖추고 있습니다. 여러분의 숭고한 희생과 헌신이 있기에 한미 동맹은 더 강하고 굳건해지고 있으며 한국 국민들은 설날을 마음껏 즐길 수 있습니다. 다시 한번 여러분과 가족 모두에게 감사의 마음을 전하며 굳건한 연합 방위 태세를 유지하는 가운데 한국의 명절 풍습과 문화를 즐기는 행복한 설날이 되길 바랍니다. Thank you for your dedication. We go together.